Ladies and gentlemen, we had the very first week of Mythic Plus officially gone. The season is now out and rolling. So let's look at how the healers did during that week and uh, what is most popular, what are people preferring and uh, what is actually playing well in high keys. What you're seeing right now are the charts for Mythic Plus for that week. And uh, not surprisingly, Restoration Shaman is on top. Everybody is basically playing Restoration Shaman. Uh, no surprise there. The class uh, got a small revamp. The tuning is actually quite good. Uh, so everybody's trying it out. Is that going to be the meta class? Probably. Uh, no guarantees there. It's also dependent on the compositions that people are running. Uh, but right now, this is definitely one of the most play played uh, healers uh, out there. And uh, surprisingly enough, as you can see, this Priest is actually doing pretty damn well. Um, I guess uh, that works for uh, higher keys. Um, the tuning, which seemed to be bad, actually got uh, fixed with uh, some updates uh, just before the release of the expansion. So this Priest is actually not in a bad place uh, at all. And uh, at the bottom of the chart, basically, we see Holy Priest and uh, Resto Druid. Um, Resto Druid just has some problems with the throughput, to be honest, and uh, Holy Priest... Uh, is a holy priest like uh, I, I I'm surprised the disc is so high because the priest is in a very bad situation this season because it has no interrupt it has no poison dispel and it has no decurs and all those things are basically very important I don't want to say mandatory for some of the dungeons so uh, the the class is just uh, you know back. At the, at the back of the seat because of that and uh, it has to make up with uh, a lot of uh, HPS and two put which is basically not there now uh, the rest are put here in the middle I'll scroll down so you can see the uh, popularity chart 50% uh, of the people playing uh, 10 keys and higher are doing restoration shaman and uh, holy paladin preservation evoker and disc priest are basically following up shortly it's a huge gap it's a 40 percent gap uh, but those seem to be the most popular classes mist river is falling out a little bit uh that is kind of surprising i was expecting for example this priest and mist river to change their places in this chart um but apparently that's uh, not the case so uh, it's interesting to see how things are going to shape up and change in the coming weeks and I'm also expecting some changes in tuning, which is going to shake this chart uh, down to the, to the ground. Now, uh, let me switch to Raid. So this is the popularity for the Raid in Mythic. Uh, apparently, Restoration Shaman is rocking here again. But, of course, there is a huge race uh, for the Holy Paladin as well. As you need Holy Paladins in the Raid, they provide a lot of value there. And the Herald of the Sun build is actually amazing with the beams uh, healing everyone, etc. Uh, when they're stacked, this actually is quite fun gameplay and uh, it contributes a lot to the Raid. Holy Priest is finally uh, finding its niche uh, as it does a lot of HPS in the Raid and uh, it provides a lot of value as well with the Halos, etc. Uh, so a, a lot of people opting to play that as well, and not surprisingly, uh, Mist River, Druid, and uh, Evoker are not that popular. I'm surprised that Disc is quite low because this can really pop in, pump in the raid. Uh, but I guess this is uh, partially offset because of the Holy Priest as well. As you can see, the popularity: Holy Priest, Holy Power, and Restoration Shaman. This is what people are playing followed by a Preservation Evoker, and the the least popular classes are Mist River, Restoration Druid, and Disc. I'm going to switch, this is Mythic rating, uh, I'm going to switch very quickly to the Heroic rates, and uh, this is the popularity here. Um, things don't change a lot, um, basically a, a short step up for uh, some of the classes, but Disc remains at the bottom. A lot more people are playing Restoration Druid, Druid uh, in the Heroics. Um, so, as you can see, things are a little bit better balanced in the raid. Uh, Steel Restoration Shaman Shining. And the last thing we're going to look at is the throughput. So, this is the HPS for Mythic Raids. Obviously, here, the only uh, the lead, so to speak, is uh, purely to uh, Preservation Evoker. They can do some crazy stuff, uh, especially with the Flame Shaper built when they burst their engulfs. Um, 
And to be honest, I am pretty sure that this is probably going to get nerfed. Uh, but for that to happen, it, it needs to the the race to world first needs to end, as Blizzard does not want to screw up people who are like gearing their preservation evokers for the race to world first, and then uh, make them play something else. However, they're going to screw everybody else who is playing preservation evoker as soon as the uh, race to world first ends. The people from Race to World First are not going to care anymore, but we'll be stuck uh, with that, whatever we did for the whole season. So that's an interesting policy, but I would expect uh, to see those numbers go down and maybe we can see some buffs uh, to the lower performing classes, although everything else is, uh, is pretty uh, well balanced. So uh, yeah, let me know what are your thoughts. Let me know what you're playing both in Mythic Plus uh, and Raid, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Now get out of here.